It's that time again for another rule review with our latest topic of discussion on hand checks. Stick around. Hello, and welcome back to the Officials Institute, where we talk rules and watch video together to provide the best and easiest way to understand the proper application of each rule. The first step to a better understanding is subscribing to this channel, so go ahead and click the subscribe and bell notification buttons, and join us in our journey of continuous learning. And don't forget to like this video. And most importantly, share this video with someone you know and help us get the word out to as many officials as we can. Because with your help, we can all get better together. Now, let's get back to our rule review topic of hand checks. The hand check file, in general, tends not to be a very popular call to make. Maybe it's because many consider it a game interrupter. Or maybe it's because the words hand check cannot actually be found written in the rules book, except for in the signal chart. But if we go to the very last rule in the rules book, under Article 12 of Contact, we will find four very specific restrictions referring to this hand check signal. So let's do just that and review together hand checks. Roll those clips. In our first play, we see the dribbler make a move toward the lane with his defender guarding him closely, when the official blows his whistle and calls a hand-checking foul on the defender. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. As the offensive player starts his move toward the basket, we notice the defender reaches out with both hands and contacts the dribbler for only a moment or two. According to Rule 10.7.12, Placing two hands on a ball handler constitutes a foul, and the amount of time or effect it had or didn't have on the dribbler's movement should not be a factor when making this ruling. Let's watch that again. Our next play starts with a defensive matchup on the sideline, and as the offensive player makes his way toward the end line, the official stops play and calls a hand-checking foul on the defender. But did he actually put his hand on the dribbler? If we zoom in and examine closer, we'll see the defender in fact did not actually use his hand, but instead extends his forearm onto the torso of his opponent. This is what is referred to as an arm bar in the rules book and is an illegal act against the ball handler, and therefore correctly being ruled as a hand check by the official. Go ahead and watch that one again. In our next play, we watch a player receive the ball, and with the defender in his back, slowly move his way around the post to attempt a shot. Looking at this play closer, we witness the defender place and keep his hand on the dribbler all the way up to the moment he attempts his shot. But since this player is in a post position, backing his way in, this hand placement is not illegal, right? Wrong. The rules book is quite clear, explicitly stating that a ball handler includes a player in the post position. So this action by the defender is indeed illegal contact and should be ruled a hand-checking foul. Here it is one more time. In our last play, a dribbler is up by the division line juking back and forth when the official calls a holding foul against his defender. Let's zoom in and analyze what happened. As the offensive player moves back and forth trying to evade his opponent, 
we notice the defender reaches out and touches the dribbler once, twice, three times. Multiple touches on a ball handler, regardless of whether it is the same hand or alternating hands, is illegal contact and should be ruled a foul. It is important to note, if a hand check occurs, we should use the hand check signal. By using a different signal, like a hold, a push, or a block signal, it gives coaches, players, and fans the wrong information about why the foul was called, and in turn prevents them the ability to make the appropriate changes to avoid a similar foul moving forward. Let's go ahead and watch that play one last time. There you have it, a complete and comprehensive review of hand checks. Now you know what a hand check looks like, and hopefully the next time you see it, you'll be better prepared to rule on it properly. Now don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share this link with your partners, or an association, or an official you are mentoring, because the more people we can reach, the better the game will get. Until we see you again, have a good game.